Today was a fascinating night in New York City political history. And a lot of the kind of first cut punditry is saying that the election return shows that the progressive movement was defeated because the three top candidates, not three, but three of the top four candidates in the mayor's race were moderates. That really gets the story wrong in a couple of ways. First of all, progressive candidates did win important other races, including several city council races. And most importantly, the other contested citywide election is the leading candidate now, Brad Lander, is a hardworking, genuine, committed progressive. And he's likely to win that race. So that is a victory for progressive New York. Lander enjoyed the endorsement from AOC and Elizabeth Warren and used those endorsements well to show New Yorkers he was the progressive and he's likely to win. In Manhattan, Alvin Bragg, who is no radical, but is more progressive than the other leading candidate, is likely to become district attorney. But I want to go back to the mayor's race, because to just describe Eric Adams as a moderate misses a big part of the story. The story in the mayor's race, and indeed in much of New York City yesterday, was the enduring power of the African-American voters in this town, enduring black political power. The two candidates in the mayor's race who most underperformed expectations, particularly in the last few days, Catherine Garcia and Andrew Yang, from the early data we're seeing, got drubbed among African-American voters, not least because they barely campaigned there. Whereas the people who at this writing are the top two candidates were both African-American, Eric Adams and Maya Wiley. The public advocate, Jumaami Williams, is African-American. He ran unopposed. So one of two of the things we've learned from this primary yesterday is that black voters are still hugely important in Democratic Party politics in New York City. And anyone who tries to suggest otherwise doesn't understand this town. And secondly, if you don't campaign hard for black voters, it's going to be very hard to win a Democratic nomination citywide in New York.